Uh, Dr. Aldred, if you yeah. do have the slides, you can show us right now. I see that you've got a clicker there. Okay. So you could just show us in your presentation. If you wish to stand, please do so. You okay, thank you very minutes. much, uh, yes, ladies please. and gentlemen. I just uh, give you a very simple uh, idea. Uh, let we start with the conclusion. This is from the Air 5. Uh, right now we move to the Air 6. Uh, I hope that uh, the next cycle of uh, IPCC it does not bore you at all because uh, we keep repeating the same messages. That uh, This is the first one. The human influence on the climate system is very clear, uh, unequivocal, and then uh, it is very clear, even though we, we repeating this message again and again, that still many debates on uh, whether this is reality or not. The second one, the more we disrupt our climate, the more we, we have the risk severe, pervasive and in, irreversible impact. The last one is very important. We do not want to have the irreversible impact and because that means that we cannot, uh, we cannot uh, replenish uh, our, our world uh, ahead and then we have to change maybe our world system. So the third key message, we have, to, we have the mean to limit climate change. So we still have the gap, the gap that we can fill and build a more purpose and sustainable future. Those, those are the, the main key messages, okay? Uh, these are the, the two impacts that I want to bring out here, especially important for the Philippines. So because uh, this, if you take a look at the picture here, especially on the right hand side, that more warming and rainfall at the north of the equator, especially the maritime continent like uh, Philippines, and less uh, SST gradient. So that means uh, this is the considerable impact, and then this area, you, you can have the, the equatorial flank becomes uh, wider and larger, so it becomes a much more extreme weather. It's important for us, uh, Philippines and my, my country, Indonesia, and then also uh, that is, uh, means that more and uh, severe and uh, wetter region. Another news, this is uh, also important for Philippines, I think. Uh, this is the impact that uh, you may feel. If you look at the, the box on the western, North Pacific, that show that uh, the precipitation rate uh, due to the tropical cyclone in the near future and the coming future will be much more uh, intensifier, but the frequency is getting lower. So that's the picture showing you. I, I don't want to give you more detail on that. But those are the two key messages for the Philippine region. I think uh, we have to take care of that. Uh, we have to live uh, in that kind of situation. So again, I think we, I just follow what uh, Dave already mentioned, that uh, we, in this report, we do have the conclusion on the carbon budget. It's almost 65%, almost similar to the, the picture that Dave has given us uh, in front of us. That has, we only have remaining 275 gigaton. So those are the, the things that we limit or if we, we're talking about a two degree uh, goal. And then uh, the emission is, uh, is also mentioned by David. This is uh, 2013 in that number, 9.9 .9 gigaton. And it, it's still increasing, but uh, we hope in the near decades that uh, the number is going uh, asymptotically equalized. So the message is, Limiting climate change will require substantial, very, very substantial. We have, we have to move very fast and sustain reduction of greenhouse gas emission. Okay, the good news is that uh, we have this report, uh, the IPCC has uh, released in 2013, the report of renewable energy, that most of the uh, options are there. And then the option is getting uh, better because the price of the renewable energy is going down. This is, uh, for example, on the left is uh, the uh, solar panel and uh, the wind power is going down. On the right hand side is the biodiesel is going down as well. So these are the good news. So uh, I just uh, received the news uh, is uh, from the China uh, energy minister. I think two days ago, they just declared that uh, in 2015, they, they just uh, produce for the uh, solar panel energy resources. It's a 32.5 uh, giga, gigawatt. And then for the uh, wind energy, it's 18.3 gigawatt. You know that number is very important, especially for my country, because my government in the next uh, 
uh, the last three and a half years, or the, uh, the five year period, they aim to achieve 35 gigawatt, gigawatt, gigawatt uh, of energy. So China achieved this for one year only. I can imagine. This is very good news. So the prospect is there. Uh, the option is there. So uh, what the news already mentioned that China, China has produced it. So why don't we follow it? I think uh, that's the key message uh, for the energy transition. So thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot do more than that. Thank you. I think I have already given you a very strong message on this. Thank you very much.